are with Fellowship, The Deeps, Season 1, Episode 9. Uh, I'm Tyler, I'm playing Grand Architect Zane, and to my left we have X playing Y. Peter is Architect Juno Alderon, the heir. Mark is Prover Iceclaw, the dwarf. Devin is Goblin King, the York. Nicole is Marilla, the Rain. Alright guys, what happened last session? <clears throat> Real uh, forest, let us never speak of it again. Creepy haunted forest. Goblin King ate some skeletons and made a new friend. I always make new friends. We found the tree that was the forest. It's all for reference. Uh, but also some stuff Such on the boat. Idea. Yeah, yeah. And then before that, we had an adventure on the boat. We noticed that Zane wanted to kill Marilla. And also that there were some people still left from. Um, what was his name? Thor? Thor's people were still left, and we convinced them to stay along until we can prove to them whether or not they would suck. Yeah. Oh, oh, the, the general's people. Okay, I did not remember his name, so I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Howard E. McSniper. <laughs> Architect He's... Maximilian Thor. Yeah, I have it written down right in front of me, too. Just... Now known as Smear. Is that that guy I killed in? Yeah. yeah. Now known as Breakfast. <laughs> So like I just want I just want to make it clear when I ripped off his head and chewed to his skull and ate his brain and said now I know everything you know I just said it to be cool. Boy, me Devin and Goblin King both said it to be cool. <laughs> they didn't mean it. <laughs> I just thought it'd be awesome. Maybe the Overlord was watching. It's like oh fuck is that how that works? Is that how this works? He's gonna eat my brain? <laughs> Come on everybody get into my belly. <laughs> I eat everything, John. Where's my <laughs> lasagna? Um, and to start it off with, uh, I am going to steal the spotlight before we jump into you guys. Um, and we are going to go to Grand Architect Zane, who is standing in a coliseum um, in front of all of the assembled architects who are up in the stands. Um, and in front of him are four figures. Uh, the first is Acerin, who looks like he's been roughed over a few times. His hair is disheveled, he's sporting a black eye, and every now and then, he, when he breathes, he winces. Next to him stand three constructs. The first stands roughly 12 feet tall and looks like a steampunk sculpture of a gorilla. It has layers of brass and chrome plated over pumping pistons and churning gears. Large oversized fists of solid metal hang at the end of elongated machine arms. On its back are a number of valves that occasionally pop and whistle with escaping steam. Its eyes burn a dull red, and when it snorts, its fists erupt in flame. The second is small, and appears even smaller for standing next to the steam-powered behemoth. It is vaguely in the shape of a four-armed human, but it is obsidian black and completely smooth. Even the face is a sheer surface devoid of feature. The light around it seems to swirl and dim, making it hard to see even when looking directly at it. The top set of its limbs end in three-fingered hands, but the lower two terminate in scything blades that glow black. The last has all the appearance of a marble statue come to life. It is perfectly proportioned and impossibly beautiful. It cradles an elegant rifle in its arms and a pair of swords hang from its waist. Carved into its stone flesh are a myriad of scenes of crashing waves, nautilus spirals, and various creatures of the ocean. Zane stands before them and lifts up his hands. You three are my finest creations. It is to you that I entrust the next phase of our plan. Juno has forced my hand. With the cold-hearted murder of architect Maximilian Tor, he has proved himself beyond redemption, beyond hope. We cannot allow him to jeopardize our great work. I have toiled, and I have instructed all the other architects to toil, to create for each of you a grand army. You will go out and engage with these terrorists. Draw them out, by whatever means you see fit, and crush them in the name of freedom. Show them that the flame of liberty shall never be quenched. We will bring down the wall. We will embrace our destiny. Bring me the head of Juno Alderon. As for the others, Goblin King has stained his hands with architect blood. Make him pay for this crime. The others, just don't let them get in your way. Now go for peace, liberty, and justice. Nice. We love you, Zane. You're awesome. <laughs> Also, like, he's so charming. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, everything he's talking about appeals to my people as well. Talking about, like, freedom and all this other shit. Yeah. So. Okay, back to you guys. 
You guys are on the shore in front of a large, ruinous city. I just feel a chill up my spine. I was going to say, someone's talking about me. I was going to say, hey, does it feel like someone just walked over Juno's grave? <laughs> they hold with their party. The Deadlands recently. <laughs> <laughs> Slapping my paunch. Oh. Back in there, pushing the ghost back in my mouth. Back in there. Then I come upon a wailing urn thing. Okay. Uh, so Juno, you're. Oh, this predates the architects. You're actually not. I mean, you know technology the most, right? One of you two. Uh, yeah. Learn the fan bits. So you guys should be able to tell where we're supposed to go more. Well. Either into it or up on it. It's a tree! It's a tree city. You go inside it. But it's a city. Presumably there's multiple buildings. Yeah, there's the tree at the center, and then in a ring around it are the ruins of the city. Yeah, those are like ant hills, but the tree's the good stuff. It's where the squirrels keep all the food. Like they're infants. Well, we pass to the ruins, I guess. But we go through the ruins, I'm just observing things! Yes. As we pass, we observe, seeing this, anything. We can look the ruins. I'm just, I'm trying to be observant that this culture might have stored their stuff in the tree. Because that's what squirrels do. Oh, I didn't mention this before, but also the tree's alive? Yes, well, all trees are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm in one with... I'll put out my hands and little birds will land on my fingers and my head. I'm like, I'm one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Circle like, of life. the roots are alive and attack. Ships. That's why there's so many dead ships out there. So trying to dig our way through might maybe be the best yeah. idea. Also, yeah, probably don't like damage it or light any fires. Probably a bad idea. Yeah. Guru yeah. looks sad and he just stuffs a bunch of explosives <laughs> back into I his. I feel bag. like there's a version of me out there that would have been very disappointed by that, but <laughs> you know, I'm all in one with nature. Yeah, pretty much. Don't do anything elves wouldn't do, and we'll be fine. <laughs> what elves wouldn't do? Does that be a successful culture? Eats meat. Do any of you know anything about architecture or history? I mean, I'm too. <laughs> Presumably they went to school, yeah. especially Juno. I mean, I have fellowship with the elves, because like, I study under them and so oh, on. Oh, yeah. so shit. You know elf shit. You're specifically like an elf, elven elite elf and elite, stuff yeah. too. So if this actually was built by elves. So yeah, this is very much an ancient elven city. Um, so you guys walk through the ruins on what you presume to be the main street towards the tree. Um, you head down the cobblestones. Um, it's dilapidated and fallen in, um, but reasonably well preserved. There are roots that rise up and tangle with the structures and the rocks at various places, but you don't notice any other vegetation. Um, it's as if the entire city was built on a ring created by this tree, um, and the tree is slowly reclaiming it. Um, eventually, as you walk along the path, you come to a large central intersection um, where there is a statue of an old elf and a softly flowing stream and a sundial in the middle at the center of a big compass that points out and ro roads leading in every cardinal direction um, on some of the walls around you, you see hieroglyphics. One of the walls is bleeding. Uh, there is a tree and a score of arrows that are thrown. Kind of just glossed over the wall is bleeding part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just paste all of that into Okay. Sure. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that statue is alive. Because y'all like to make living statues. Would anyone like well, to make? Elvin. Still. Does anyone with a decent sense score like to make a... You I also... Mean, I can figure it out. Also? You also feel an air of menace settle in as soon as you guys enter the city. And no one can roll with hope well within it. Ooh. Is it mind control? It's not mind control. Right. You just have to check. You're being down there. Check. Yeah. Goblin King. Eh. 
Have you tasted a lot of types of blood? <laughs> you yeah, I have. Can you lick the blood wall and tell me what kind of blood it is? It's probably elf, but I mean. Yeah, I am a bit of a gourmand. Sure, let me go check a look. Gourmand. <laughs> <laughs> me and Orby laugh. <laughs> Orby does not laugh. Orby blinks twice. There it is. See, Zero. double laugh! Yes, yes! <laughs> double laugh! Yeah, so you taste the blood? Yeah. Just rub my tongue all over. It tastes like elf blood. It's elf blood! Thought so. Yeah, that is that kind of, um. Not elf. Dandelion flavor? No, it's kind of like thin, like, uh, like more like water. Kind of tastes like if you were to drink it, you'd have a cursed life, a half life. <laughs> I didn't drink it, I looked it though. <laughs> okay, and there's a bunch of. Sorry. Are there arrows in the wall? No, there's arrows on the ground. Okay. I thought maybe a wall was bleeding from the arrow wounds for a second. I mean, I'll lick one of the arrows. How old are they? They're ancient. These are pretty dusty. I'm like on all fours, crawling around. Right it's like a little toddler monster. Not much about elf blood, but that blood does look fresh. Yes, it's still bleeding. Um. I mean. Also, there's arrows everywhere, so maybe they shoot from somewhere. Is there like a direction to the arrows where we can see where they may have come from? Mm. You guys are all somewhat skilled at combat. Uh, so you can tell it looks more like someone fall, fired a volley of arrows at this area, mm. and then they all clatter to the ground. Mm. Someone crawl on top of the statue and like push at it, <laughs> just like tap it and stuff. It's a statue. Like lick it, chew on it a bit. Okay. Doesn't do anything. No. Merle, can you uh, can you pick this up? No. Don't you have infinite strength? No, because when you first get the thing that you could. Oh wait. No, that's an advancement. I can smash it if you want, but... No, don't. don't <laughs> I thought you leveled for a moment. I'm like, use your goddamn strength, Nicole. Just screaming at you. <laughs> Lift with your knees. No, you're back. You're back. Make I don't jerky. have bones or muscles. All of this is irrelevant. Make jerky, twisty I'm, motions. I'm just as strong in my pinky as I am in my bicep. Well, put all of your strength in your pinky, then put all of that strength in the rest of you. <laughs> <sighs> We're, yeah. we're going to dig around the stage. Okay, yeah. You can dig around as much as you want. Yeah. It's it's just just cover. Yeah. I guess I'll just examine the area, see if there's any bigger mach machinations going on, like a builder that I am, but if there's nothing, then I'll just move on, I guess. Okay. What do direction have... do you go on? Towards the tree. Mm, so that like... would be north. Do you have a light source? Probably, why? Mm -hmm. I mean, torches don't strike me as being particularly unusual. This. What? See, I'm just like, this area seems like it's important, so I'm like, oh, maybe if we, like, shine light on the sundial to make it seem that it's high noon, something will happen. Well, that's why <laughs> I use my, you know, air side to see if there's any mechanisms around here. <laughs> Does this work? Is there some big imaginations going on? Walls blinking. You mean look, look closely? Oh yeah, yeah. hey, let's fucking look closely. Uh, maybe I'll do it, cause... Sure. And look at your character sheet. <laughs> I don't... Well, well this is quiet. Your sense is damaged. No, it isn't anymore, because I, I, I drank. You so. drank and then you damaged it again. To okay. give back? Oh yes, I did. Aha! Uh -huh. Well... But doesn't okay. that just mean that you... Can I use my last food? Spare? Use your what? Last food. What, to like, sit down and eat? Have a quiet meal? I guess we don't have time. All right, I'll use my last booze. Booze it up. And I would roll with hope now, except for the fact that I can't. <laughs> you're you're rolling with vigor, though. Also, you wouldn't be able to roll hope because we're in the city. You can't roll exactly. <laughs> well, vigor is with hope. Does that work that way? I think so. Probably. It probably gets around shit like that. When you use this, you have... Oh, you have hope and cannot yeah. have this spare No. So, I will try and... Well, these guys are that. I'm looking around for, yeah. for stuff, and... Uh, I got an eight. So what does that mean? That means it gets a... Three, three questions, questions, one hardware. 
Okay, give me so, your three questions, and I'll pick which one you're learning the hard way and give you your three answers. Um, is anything hidden here or out of place? If so, what looks suspicious? I think he wants to get you to give him all three yep. questions at once. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. That's one. Uh, what can you tell me about the... So, like, the, when you say the wall is bleeding, it's literally bleeding. Like, the, yeah. it's gushing and blood. What can you tell me about the fact there's this bleeding freaking wall? Because that seems really weird. Um, and then uh, let's go with the ever-popular, what is going on here? What do my senses tell me? Or what does the hieroglyphics... I was going to say, there's also what, hieroglyphics. Yeah, what does the hieroglyphics read? Um... Ancient Elven was an was an elective in in high school. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't speak ancient Elven. Okay, but I what I do is I then just sort of grab his head and like while he's debating and like, hey, read these, Mister Elven. Not quite as impro as not quite as with impertinent as that. Of course, he is my commander. But hey, could you read the things I know you can read? Well, no modern Elvish, but couldn't be cha couldn't change that much. They don't like changes. <laughs> says, uh, oh, I can just imagine. Yeah. Uh, ancient Elven. I prepared explosive ruins this mo- <laughs> Um, so... The hieroglyphics point towards the roads, and they say the direction that it points, like north, south, southeast, east, west. But they say it all backwards. Hmm. Um, and... What is suspicious is everything that I highlighted. The statue, the stream, the sundial, the hieroglyphics, the blood wall, the tree, the compass, and the arrows all seem suspicious to you. Um, what is hidden or out of place is there are three ghouls who are hidden amongst the ruins that are now coming towards you. Okay. Good to know. Is there anything you can tell us about the blood wall? Uh, about the blood wall? Um, it seems to be flowing upwards. Oh, that's that's extra spooky. Okay. So I assume you relay this information? Uh, yeah, but well, and, and as he's relaying it, all three ghouls cool. pounce. And each one is going to try and go for your food. Who else has food? I have mesh. food. You have food? Yeah. So one goal goes for you, two goals go for you. Okay. So I am going to do a, a shtick here. Uh, we're going to go... Uh... So, we've been here for a few minutes looking at this stuff, right? Yep. So would you rule that I have uh, conceivably have planted a trap as, we, as this area is extremely suspicious? Sure. Okay, I'm going to burn off one of my iron blasts. So what does that do? So that is basically, it's going to create an explosion. Um, basically when they, I figured out the area where someone was most likely to attack us, and when the two were coming after me, I hit the button and it catches them in an explosion. Okay. So you catch one in an explosion. So what does that do? That damages the staff? That's kind of up to you. It's, it's two uses dangerous, so... Um, oh, that also, dangerous also means it destroys the surrounding stuff. Causes property damage. So pretty much like, well... Specifically what I said not to do! <laughs> so probably like, oh, let's do a roll of finish them or something like that. Like, oh, surprise! Boom. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, so ghouls have two stats. They have hungry. Ghouls are always hungry and will eat anything they can catch. If your grace is damaged, a ghoul's cuts against you are hard cuts. Ooh, ooh. So let me know if either of you have damaged grace. Okay. And tough as nails. The first time a ghoul would be damaged or destroyed, damage the stat instead. Oh. I think the uh, uh, tough would be the... It has to be that one. Yeah. I mean, Obviously. you don't have piercing, so he chooses what was damaged. And tough yeah. Yeah. Okay. So roll your finish then. So you have a tray. Oh, yeah. Uh, Eleven. So. Okay. So they both damage their tough as nails. Do either of you have damage, Grace? Nope. Sense, and probably sense as well. Okay. So you guys 
you have one soft cut coming at you, and yours knocks them out, so it stops them from leaping and grabbing your stuff. But they're still alive and they're reeling on the ground. Okay. Cool. Can I? Someone get advantage on it, and I can clear this up real fast. Um. I want to overcome for. Yep. Did you know? Well, what's happening to Peter? He's getting attacked by a ghoul. Oh, shit. Well, it's it's going for his food. He's still, still overcome by eating his food. <laughs> oh, I saved it. <laughs> Dory, you'll get it back eventually. I have a month. Uh, I don't <laughs> What? I'm not talking about it. Eventually it grows in the grass, and we eat the grass. So you're overcoming? Yeah. What are you doing? Um. Absorbing it into yourself. Like a white blood cell. Yeah. I'll go around the ghoul, and it's wearing me like a, like a people suit. Okay. So I'm going to, like, make it stumble that way. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I got a nine. Temporary solution or pay a price for overcome? Uh. You do like temporary solution. I, I guess. I guess. I don't have much gear left, so yeah. Okay. So you managed to wear it as a suit, but it is tougher to control than you expect. Um, and you are locked in a grapple with it. I guess I take that time to fly upwards so it cannot touch me. <laughs> that will be safe at least. Okay. So you hover up in the air. Yep. Goblin King, you want to punch the ghoul through Marilla? I mean, yeah, I could just run up and... Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, let's see. I guess I'll scramble on all fours off the statue towards that one ghoul. Is it just the one ghoul that's left? No, there's two. No, there's two, there's two, two that, are, that are reeling, um, and one that is inside Marilla. Oh. Do I have advantage over it if it's inside Marilla? Yeah, because it's grappling with her. They're both locked in it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll put my fingers in my mouth like a toddler and make a whistling sound. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden... Uh, rats, swarms and swarms of rats they're all bloated and weird, will go inside Marilla grab the ghoul and then take it away and I'll be like <laughs> and it goes away I will finish it like that okay, that I'm ghoul so is glad gone I thought you were going to throw up on both of us and I was like, no, don't no, please, stop <laughs> I don't want to become your liquids the other two ghouls recover and leap at Poover okay uh, Prover is going to uh, they'll just go for climb, start climbing them, I guess. Getting into a good old-fashioned brawl. So what okay. are you rolling? So what are you rolling? Uh, Iron or Blood, it doesn't really matter which. No, what move are you making? What are you doing? Because you oh. don't have advantage. I don't have advantage. You can so have to try and overcome, right? I'm trying to overcome one of the cuts by fighting with it, sure. Yeah. Uh, that would be a nine. Pay a price, a temporary solution. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, I think my uh, gun is going to fire off. No, it's a reload weapon. That's not my good enough price. I mean... Uh, let's have it get a hold of the food. No, the food. Okay. So it grabs the food. Yeah. But does that mean since I'm paying... Uh, I'm overcoming in price. Does that mean you know, I get anything? Well, that means you get to remove the cut if you're damaged. Oh, okay. But I mean, what, the, cut the, food. Wasn't the cut was getting the, the food. cut was getting the food. You're paying the price of letting it get the food. Well, I should just yeah. temporarily get into a scuffle with it so someone else can kind of save your yeah, food. Yeah, okay. Sure. Let's, let's, we're, we're in a scuffle. Okay. So are ghouls just starving people? They're kind of like starving monsters. Yeah, except they never They're stop eating. hungry monsters. Uh, is anyone going to overcome the other cut? Um, yeah, I'll leap in to defend him. Okay. I'll like, I'll, like leap onto it and just like get into a bear hug with it. Sure. Fucking orb, orb. Yeah, orbs orb. behind me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just observing. Yeah, no, like, you jump, you jump. Double blink, <laughs> double blink, double blink. <laughs> I know I'm motivated too. <laughs> uh, so yeah, him and I are working together. So us working together. We don't can't roll with hope. I'm saying it would nullify the despair if we had. Oh. Do we have despair? No. Oh. Oh, okay, this is too much. Your stuff is damaged. Hey! Ten! Well, 
Oh. More than ten, because you know, I rolled mm -hmm. four and a six. Okay, uh, you leap onto it um, and manage to like grab Rest onto its ground. ears and like steer it away um, and have it stagger back and forth over the cobblestones. I'm lightly biting to see what it tastes like. It does not taste good. Yeah, it's all right. It doesn't taste good, but you know, it's all the worst. I'm even worse. Okay, so you're hovering above this fray. Um, he's grappling with one ghoul. Goblin King is riding another ghoul. I would like to... Wait, you overcame, not... Yeah, we, we don't have advantage. We're, we've overcome the cut. Okay. Um... If you set them up, though, they'll disappear. Pardon? As soon as we have advantage on these guys, animals can come in and take them away. Oh. Um... I'm going to grab Hoover. Hoover's food and use it to keep the ghoul busy. Okay, that works. My taunting Because that's like exactly what it wants. Yep. Uh, that is courage, which is damaged. You are working with me, right? But you're busy. You, you overcame, you had yeah. a temporary solution. Plus, we can't have hope anyways. Yeah, like, that's working together. Yeah, but it'll negate yeah. your despair. Okay. Because you damage them, they're first spare, but you get their hope. Oh man, this is not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I got a four. So because my courage coming. is minus one, and I forgot how bad that stat was. So and it was damaged, and it was my So I guess the ghouls will be clambering onto you. Let me just see what your character sheet looks like. You grab the food and you dissolve it. Oops! The ghouls eat the food along with you! Oh god, I was thirsty. Oh man, you don't have anything. I have nothing! Because we never fucking rest! That's the point! Um, they can have my gold if they want, I guess. Look, guys, gold. Cool. This is called future food. You can trade it for food. Trade later. it to who? Trade it to the, the other ghouls? Look, if, they're, if, the, if, the, if the coast rises and their houses are going to be flooded, they can just sell their houses and move. Sell them to who? You're acting okay. like a builder. There's just no inherent value in these, these lumps of shiny metal. I understand the economics. Are you comfortable if she, if the ghoul takes the food as the price? Yeah, that's I don't really care. So you're trying to taunt it with the food, um, and it is faster than you expect, and it snatches the food away from you, and immediately starts running off in the middle of the room. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, it ran off, so mission accomplished. Well, there's still... There's still food. one. That is grappling with uh <laughs> Whee! And he got a ten, so he's Yeah, fully overcame. Uh so are you up to anything, Juno? No, I'm not really that much of a combat character. Everyone's a combat character in fellowship, you piece of shit. Yes, I'll talk I'll... to it, make it you a friend. You can one v one people. You can auto one v one. You can also talk to it and make it an ally. <sighs> can I? Hey, yeah, talk with it. Can I speak softly? You gotta form a bond with it. Which you can do by finishing them with anything but murder. <laughs> I mean, if I Wisdom. can. Wisdom! If I can, then yes. If I can forge bonds with dogs, you can forge bonds with this dog. It's certainly possible. So I guess I'll start talking to it in Elvish and trying to explain that, you know, we're here to help and, you know, see whether it responds to anything. So you're speaking softly? No, I'm finishing them with... It doesn't with, have advantage. But wouldn't you... He's overcoming, not... Uh, yeah, someone has to have advantage. No, I mean, because advantage is whatever the situation yeah. fits. And All right, I think about, if you're grappling with it, you've how, got advantage. Yeah, how about I'm grappling with it, and like I'm wobbly, so it can't actually like hurt me, so I can get like real up in its face. Like I'll, I'll, go, I'll start going inside its mouth and stuff. Like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. freaking it out. So you have advantage. Yeah. Okay, so I rolled a 14. Forge a bond. And yeah. So what is your bond? Um I guess uh, You want lots of food, come with us. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess I'll uh, give it food and you know 
Oh. I showed it kindness, therefore it'll like, you know. Also. So you're gonna give it your last fine food? Yeah, I'll give my last fine food to it. Okay. To... Also, yeah, it's like, hey, if you just calm the fuck down and work with us, yeah. we can supply you with a steady stream of food. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so if you're a man, I was hungry. If your bond is, uh, I fed you, or something along that lines. That I showed you kindness. I showed you kindness? Sure. Oh, yes! So it calms down and starts eating. Okay. Good, you know this. Yes. So I'll try, like, type of thing, asking whether, you know, can tell us of this place, what happened here, tell us about itself, you know, and give a conversation if it wants to talk. It can't uh, talk. It can't talk. Hmm. It's past that point. It is animalistic. Well, at least it's not trying to bite us anymore. Well, I guess we should go back to what we're doing as an examining this place and trying to figure out whether there's some bigger puzzle. What I we... think is that the directions point the wrong way. Because <coughs> if we go out the direction that we think, if we're like, hey, the tree's that way, we're just going to go that way. It's going to be like, oh, that fucked us because it wasn't actually that way, it was the other way. Because it's confusing when you're in the area here. Makes well, a weird sort of sense. Okay. Probably. Unless the literal island moved, and that's why the directions say the wrong way. It could be more of a maze, like we just... Well, it could be a maze, therefore we have to solve this puzzle around here and you have the direction that they're going backwards, therefore we probably should follow the backwards. You know what we should do? Split up? No, <laughs> I was going to say fly, but then I remembered we can't all fly. Um. Only you two fly. You're probably kidding, one of you. <coughs> hmm. Can they? Can you carry you? one of us? Are there flying animals in here? I, I don't, don't know how much. There are no I, animals around. It's already been established, like, not that long ago, that Goblin King isn't that big and doesn't weigh that much. Uh, so I don't know about uh, Marilla. Marilla. She's like people size and made of water. Um, is So it's people weight. Right? Yeah, which is roughly 80%. So. Okay, let's not try to. Be too smart about it. They just try to solve this. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I don't know if we're overthinking this. It might not yeah. even be a puzzle. Let's just like fly over there. Um, I guess I'll try to like. And then if that doesn't work, we'll know it is actually is. No, I'd rather try to work through it like an architect. Like, oh, clearly there's some clear answer here. Therefore, again, following the direction but backwards because the answer is backwards. That's how I see it from the hieroglyphs. So I'll try doing that. So, so what are you doing? We have directions from the hieroglyphs. They are, you know, go left, right, whatever. But they're written backwards. If I follow them backwards, you know, starting to go gears within gears. Okay. So you're taking a path? Yeah. Are you guys going with them? Yeah. Sure. I should have said I'll follow you, but you guys know more about the shit than I do. Unless you guys want to be flying. Okay. Um, so you head out. Uh, you walk along the path. Um, you move past a couple of dilapidated houses, um, a collapsed, what seems to be an inn, a stables, and then you come back to the exact same intersection. Hmm. I think we're willing to go uh, try heading directly south at this point. So away from the tree? It was northwards, wasn't it? The tree, I think it was northwards. Uh, in which case, yeah, that's what I said. If we go south, it'll probably lead us north. This seems like the sort of namby-pamby, ooh, let's reverse everything, turn on its head sort of nonsense that the elves would come up with. I don't know much about them. <laughs> well, I guess we'll try that approach then. Walk back or So we go south. south. Yeah. So you walk south? Yeah. Same thing happens. Okay. I guess it's a little we'll have to solve. Try it. You'll be back. Yes, you want it? Alright. Okay, so yeah, Cooper will unfold his new wings and we'll give that a shot. Describe them. This is the first time uh, Yeah, them. the first time he's used them, he's gonna basically he's got a set of like unfoldable wings that can come off and they just automatically start flapping. 
and uh, yeah, and he, they slowly take him up. It's all mechanical stuff looted from the golems. Who are the cyborg? So you fly northwards? Yeah, I'll try flying towards the tree. Does that okay. work? You go up in the air um, and you fly over the city, and the city passes beneath you, and passes beneath you, and passes beneath you, and passes beneath you. <laughs> How long can you fly for? Uh, a fair bit, but it doesn't really say it's indefinite, but I'll just land after a while and say that there are limits to it. Okay. You guys see Cooper land back down at the same intersection with you. Okay, we need to solve this puzzle. I'm... Daniel. It looks a little different here. Oh, oh, looks different? What has changed? Why don't you look closely? Because it's damaged! <laughs> Does anyone have a move where it's like you can look closely no matter what? Because I know lots of people have that as like an option. This is usually a gear option. I have a seven. I have one but it's burned. So three questions, one the hard way? Yeah. Okay, what are your questions first? So, what has changed here? Mm. What will happen if I blank? Is there a pattern? Because we've left in different directions, maybe we can figure out a pattern. I mean, there was a compass in the middle of the statue. Right? Sun dial. The sun dial. Oh. And like a compass on the ground. Hey, yeah, maybe yeah. the map's changed. Maybe we can move the map. Maybe we can move it to face where we want to go. But maybe go. the map and the directions have changed now that we've moved. <laughs> yes. Like, is there any of this a red herring in this area, I guess? And okay. so is there anything else What has changed? Is anything a red herring? And is there anything else that's hidden or out of place? We haven't encountered okay. it yet. Nothing else is hidden or out of place. Okay. Um, the arrows are a red herring which you realize as you step on one, uh, injuring your foot and damaging your grace. Oh no, the ghouls will go after me now. The specters. Or any ghouls, maybe. Uh, because the arrows haven't changed at all. Um, other than that, what has changed? The statue seems younger. Seems what? Younger. younger. Huh. As in, the statue looks like it was made more recently, or the statue looks like it's carved on a younger person? The statue itself looks like it's a younger person. A younger person, okay. The it's stream is actually flowing backwards. You notice that there's a shadow on the sundial that's not coming from the sun, and it's moving in the reverse direction. And the tree seems smaller. Okay, seems we're going back in time, or at least appear to. Is that if it means we're making progress, perhaps we should just keep going? Or are we setting off some kind of trap? It seems like a trap. It means time. You don't want to mess with time. I guess no, if, we, if we observe the sun that doesn't move right now, then we have to actually be moving in order for it to be moving backwards. It's moving. Okay. So I guess we need to wait, I suppose. Oh. I didn't think this is the sort of puzzle that can be resolved by waiting. I mean, maybe. I mean, Elves live a long time, right? Yeah. Maybe the answer is wait until high noon or whatever, and then you can get out. Yeah. It's not unreasonable. Your ghoul starts idly gnawing on your leg. <laughs> <sighs> hey, like, not give hard, him some, give him some but tea. he's just kind of like gumming it. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll bite. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant, but that's amazing. You're turning the goblin. You said to give him teeth. <laughs> Kind of jerks back and then clutches his wounded limb. Doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> ta ta! We don't eat people that are valuable to me. <laughs> wow, they're still valuable to me. Oh my goodness. Humble threat. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we just keep going backwards? Because the arrows are right there. The arrows in the ground? Sure, whatever, but the statue's getting younger. Maybe it'll get so young people will be here. So, do we head towards, uh, head in the reverse, the full speed? Hmm. Or, I guess we could try following the 
have the hieroglyphs but forwards this time even though it's written backwards when we move forward the hieroglyphs are just like they're just like signposts so ah. like one points to the ah. north place one points to the south place and they just say south or north but ah. they say it backwards ah. i thought it okay is the sundial also backwards it's a normal sundial but it's moving backwards Yes, but also are the like it, yeah it I know I know what you're asking markings. and it's the markings are normal it's but it's moving backwards. Okay, are also in the mirror dimension or something? What's going? Um, hmm. I don't think there are any mirrors or ponds around here. We just look through or try to gaze. Uh, your Google starts getting agitated. <sighs> well. And five ghouls scuttle out of the rubble towards you. Get away! Okay, you fly up. Your ghoul looks sad. I'm sorry, but this is for your own good. Or my ghoul. I don't know. Alright, so we got five more ghouls to deal with? Yeah, they're hanging around the periphery. Alright. I'm going to. Uh... Hey, or... If I, if I just don't help myself, you're quiet, it's fine. Orb and I, like, I'll put them on my back. Yeah. We'll sneak around and I'll wait in the shadows for you to get closer. Okay. And I do, I'm going to burst out and go through one's chest. Okay. I'm going to go airborne because... Okay. I, literally, so, the two people in the party, we cannot be armed. <laughs> the ghouls scuttle forward. You burst through one's chest. And it frightens the other ghouls, and they all scuttle off backwards down, down the corridors. All right, so shall we try moving somewhere? I didn't think we should be waiting continually in an area that's patrolled by tons of ghouls. Well, no matter which way we move, we come back to the same place. So. Yes, but things change as we do so. Yeah, but just keep coming back and back and back won't help. Also, no matter where we go, the ghouls are going to keep coming back to here. Ghouls didn't come back to the same place. Hey, let's follow a fucking ghoul. Someone tie food to a stick and watch it go. Does anyone have any food left? No. Nope. I'll, uh, I'll start, like, you know, I'll peel off, like, a drumstick from the ghoul and be like, There we go! Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So you're holding it in front of your ghoul? Yeah. It's not my ghoul. Very clear. Yes. What about our ghoul? <laughs> why would we hold it in front of the... I don't understand why we do that, guys. Why would we do what? Anything. Okay, it starts moving towards the food. Yeah, that would work. No, no, we like we like capture a ghoul and like put a stick on its back and a rope on it and put the food in front of it and you'll follow the food. That's what I said. Yeah. It'll but know don't, where to go. Don't we just want to follow the ghoul? Because if you put the food in front of it, it'll then, just follow the yeah, food. Yeah, then we're leading the ghoul. We want the ghoul apparently to lead us. Yeah. Oh, maybe it'll lead us to a nest of ghouls, though. Yeah, that's fine. Well, so what, we're following the ghouls that run away? Let's. Yes, let's follow them. Okay, um, I mean, they scattered in all directions, but you pick one, take yeah. off after it, and come back to the same intersection. Okay. Because well, things change this time. Ghouls are <laughs> dead, right? Yes, they have. Uh -huh. But in the same way. The statue seems younger, tree seems smaller. Even younger and even smaller. Ghouls are right there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's because they're not alive. I think we just need to cycle through enough and eventually we'll be back to this place when we're since high day, I suppose. Sure. That's... Well, that's... like, it's not... I'm not really a problem solver for these kinds of problems. It's not really time, though, because it's not that the statue looks like it was made more recently. It's that the statue is made to look like someone who looks younger than it originally was made to look like. Like, that's a different fucking statue. Well then, clearly, shall we just keep seeing what happens? Perhaps we'll move the... As you deliberate, more ghouls come. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> At this point, I didn't care. Okay. Well, I guess we're just cycling through this until we see Pano. What are you doing about the ghouls? Flying overhead. <laughs> Flight and two of us, and they, they really don't care. Yeah, they can't really 
hurt us, so we'll think. If they get close, it's their problem. Okay, one of them gets close. All right, I'll just like, put my arms out, and I'll stand there, T-posing. What does it do? It tries to. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to grab by its neck, and I'm going to bite into its neck real hard. Okay. Uh, you bite through its neck. The other ghouls get scared. They scuttle off backwards. Push him back. Have Stay they back. always been leaning backwards? Yes. The, the fucking bitch, that's the answer, guys. Ah. Move backwards. Shut up! Real sailors, pal. <laughs> <laughs> And we flip ourselves backwards and yeah, okay. move away. Let's move backwards. Move backwards. Does, that, does that answer the question? Yeah. Okay. You guys move away and start moving through the city. Okay. Uh, you solved it. Hooray. Take a little bit The next answer was going to be like blindfolding the statue because maybe it's watching us. And then I was going to smash the statue if that didn't work. <coughs> so, yeah. So you guys move through the rest of the city. Um, it takes you, what you reckon is like better part of the day, maybe more, but time doesn't really seem to be passing um, in the usual sense of it, and you can't see the sun. Um, the boughs of the tree block out everything, um, even <coughs> the sky. Um, but eventually you get through the city, um, and you arrive at the base of a monumental tree. Uh, as you walk forward, uh, the tree itself parts, and an old woman comes out. Ah, Grand Architect Juno Alderaan, I've been waiting a long time for you. Well, is I, I suppose? Maybe not even grand, but who might you be? I am the library. Oh, nice to meet you. Come inside. The tree expands a little further to reveal a hollow inside. Okay. We go in. Yeah. I hope this is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> you go in and the tree closes behind <coughs> you. Um, but inside is suffused with a soft, warm light. Um, you don't see any books or anything, just the interior uh, of a tree. Um, the woman herself um, is dressed in long, flowing, ragged clothes. Um, she looks vaguely elfish, vaguely builder, vaguely rock folk, vaguely goblin, and she's got a bit of an aqueous tint to her. Um, you also notice that at the bottom of her dress, um, instead of feet, uh, there are flowing roots that go down into the ground. So, you've come to seek my wisdom. Yes. And what have you brought to prove yourself? Well, we brought ourselves. That's something. Go to those mists and what have you. Should we prove anything else? As much as I would love to help you, there are rules. Understandably. You have two options. Either each of you brings me a gift worthy of my collection, or you do for me a great service. Hmm. Well, I do have something that might be worthy of you. I get in my bag and take the treasure we got from the ancient builder ship. So like, I don't know, maybe some illuminated tome or what have you. And what use would I have for that? I am a library, <laughs> Juno Alderaan. Use your head. Well, a library could always use more books. Is that what you have? Well, I, I think what Peter's trying to say is the treasure is an abstract for everything from all that okay. ship, and he's yes. saying that there might be so you you bring tomes and scrolls education. Yes, I bring an ancient tome from the the builder ship. Ah, a great gift! I shall add it to my collection. 
Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> and the rest of you. Oh, uh, what kind of favors would a tree library need? There is something specific. You see, I'm not exactly mobile. And on this island, there is a lich. If you could remove him for me, I would consider that worthy of my time. How powerful are the lichers? Like, does that sound like something we can do? I'm pretty sure we can kill anything. <laughs> We're most powerful as the goblin kink. <laughs> I am gonna. I don't know if I want to spend three minutes on this. Yeah, alright, we'll kill things. What? Shit. Yeah, alright, we well, want to kill boss. On the south end of the island, travel through the city. I will undo some of the charms so that you may travel freely. You'll know his area when you get to it. This Remo- is like a blast. Remove him from me, and we will talk. And the tree opens again. Removing a lich from the world is... Move it! I'm make friends with it! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she didn't say she wanted him dead, she didn't just say remove him. So yeah, like she probably just wants him off her land. Yeah, we'll relocate it. Yeah. Dead would be preferable. I mean, yes, but if people are really dead set on out, uh, dead set lich, yeah, on having a lich friend, then, I mean, whatever. Let's just go to right um, you know, you hang out with the library. It already accepted you. Do we want to rest for a bit? No. Not even a little. Because I can't do anything if we don't. Why not? You just rolled this bear for three damage, 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 and I have and nothing, no gear left. Like, I mean, don't you have a doom stat still? No, I don't have a doom stat anymore. I don't know what our doom is anymore. Oh, yeah. Plus, I have, I do have iron, grace, and blood. But there you go. Hey, that's a killing moose. I got a question for you. Do you have any food here? I do, but you have not yet won my you, favor. You shouldn't be eating the library. Hey, 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 hey. If I don't have the time getting here, some of us are hungry and cranky. Let's sit down, have a 15 minute meal around a fire, or something, or a table, and then we'll go totally wipe out that lich. You may rest here. Yeah, we, we definitely can. That wasn't even a question. Isn't there like a host thing going on here where you have to be a good host when you invite people into your home? What's some sort of terrible bad luck curse of all people who are shitty hosts? <laughs> Give us some food! I mean, that does sound like royal treatment. <laughs> I like you. You're cute. I don't know. I'm lucky. <laughs> she goes, uh to the edge of the tree section and just sort of merges into it. And you guys are left in a hollow with an open door. What if she'll come back with food soon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's um, coming. With near bet on it, money. Alright, uh, well, uh... Wait, wait, are you hungry? I mean... Does anyone else have food? Nope, because Peter, do you have any food? My last... I gave it the ghoul. God damn it, Peter. Alright, I will give you some food. Yeah, food doesn't help, it only heals one stat. It doesn't heal all my gear and all my other stats. Oh, the monster is good enough. I don't think we can refresh that totally without being at a place we have fellowship with you. We need to find like, a community to, that will restock us, because that stuff has to be restocked. Yeah, you do have to be at a community to yeah. fellowship with Yeah. And we left you the mobile. Just rest? You can rest and it'll heal some things, but getting your gear and like your, your class stuff back, you have to recover in a community of fellowship with. And we left the mobile one on the boat. We gotta no. finish this sucker off. Like you Alright, looks like we're going to get the witch. You need to have a little downtime, which you need to do in a civilization, and then the recovery is when you rest in a place of safety for over a week, then you restock your stuff. All this right. is a place of safety. Well, we got to rest for over a week, and again, 
Where are we restocking from? Mm. Well, uh, let's go die by Lich, guys. Oh my god, Nicole, it's going to be such a simple <laughs> fight. You are over-emphasizing this. This is going to be easy. So you guys head off? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Orby is bouncing around you. He's, like, taking pictures of the landscape. I don't know go. he has the capacity to do that, but good for him. <laughs> um, your ghoul is trailing behind you. Um, occasionally he will, like, stop and, like, nibble on a rock uh, or a stick or something and then spit it out. It's so um, trailing with goblin The ruins of the city... I did bite. Uh, the ruins of the city in the south end look much like they did um, on the other area, dilapidated, um, ornate, once ornate structures that have fallen into ruin. Um, but eventually you start to get to an area that seems desecrated. Ah, oh, yeah! Um, it turns uh, into a bog, but uh, a little different than the kind of swampy jungly bog that you guys walked through. Um, it's thick and black and brackish. Um, and around you, you see animated skeletons um, and ghouls and specters just sort of moving about. Um, none of them move to attack you, though. Hmm. Usually the undead seem, seem to crave the flesh of the living, but the sub been told. Well, maybe they're being fed by the lich. Hello. Um, as, you, as you as you push through, um, you eventually come to a small copse where there's a clearing, um, and you see a figure uh, huddled over a book in a cauldron. Mm-hmm. He has his back to you. Oh, devil! It has his back to you. I mean, I'm sure he's aware. I mean, maybe he's not. Maybe you can surprise attack him. Ah, you know, we're approached. You're the fucking prince. The lich has actually died of natural causes. <laughs> prince King Man, go talk to it. Hello there. I'm Akte Juna Alderan, and these are my companions, Puvar, Marilla, and Goblin King. He stops chanting um, and turns to look at you. Um, he is uh, ghoulish and faded, um, gaunt. His eyes are glowing green, and he's got a crown of white hair. Oh, hooray! A band of heroes come to kill me. How uniquely novel. Well, I wouldn't say that we're here to kill you. What would you say, Architect Juno Alderaan? Well, we let to know the situation, what's going on between you and the library, I guess. Oh, start. the library. Ah. <sighs> I borrowed some of her forbidden tomes, and I was reading them in a bath of ichor. It soothes these old bones. And anyway, I suppose I may have gotten several of them, I don't know, wet. So she's been trying to kill me for the last 50,000 years. No one holds a grudge like a tree. Hmm. Why don't you just leave? I don't swim. No, we could maybe just boat you out. Do you have those tomes still? Maybe we could try fixing them. No, I gave them back. Huh. I'm not a cad. Maybe she threw them back at your face or something. I don't know. Look, here's the deal, buddy. The tree wants you to leave, and uh, he's an architect. I mean, he's a wall builder. So, we're just going to take your home here, we're going to take you out of your home, we're going to put you on a boat, we're going to ship you to somewhere else, and that's going to be your new home, like the wall builders intended. You don't live here anymore. (laughs) So you grant me passage. I suppose it's an interesting proposition. How do I know you're not just trying to get me out of my place of safety and kill me at sea? Uh, because if we wanted to kill you, it'd be super fun to kill you here on your home turf, with all your undead and your bog and your tower and your magic and your cauldron. I'd rather You're getting yourself worked up. I'd rather the giant going to come out of the cauldron during the midpoint, and then and then we'll think we got you, but your phylacteries nearby, your box with your 
down in it. And then you'll come out in a giant, scarier body, and it'll be amazing. You've done this before. <laughs> I'm sure this one goblin has it stuck in there. I mean, also, no offense, could you imagine the sort of devastation it would be towards the rest of us if we were to have a big fight on a boat? It doesn't seem like a very good idea for any of us. I mean, it seems a little more. I am well aware of the devastation I could unleash upon your unwitting bodies. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't think we'd like to do that in the middle of the water. It doesn't seem like a very good idea for anyone. Well, no, now you're kind of selling me on it, because, oh no, we leave so many boats to be on, although he, he's affected by it. So, like, he's destroying the land around us, or jumping from wreckage to wreckage. Flotsam and jetsam being tossed everywhere, dead mariners from centuries past, grasping at our legs as we're in the, the drink. Now I'm kind he's of into it. <laughs> as you see, we're an unusual bunch. <laughs> Not as much as you might think. Oh. I've met adventurers before. Fair. Man, yeah, look at your own transport, too. I accept. Yeah, no, see, that's not. We just gotta be fair and civil. So, should we send him on the wars on some purposes? No, not gonna send a lich wizard out on a porpoise. I'm gonna do something much cooler. A wreckage of water? Yeah. Put up my hands. A pod of whales will beach themselves a little, and one of them will open its mouth. They're all swollen and goblin looking. All right, that's your home now. Get in. I don't take commands. That's your home now. You could get in. It's a choice you're going to make on your own. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to begrudge it. <laughs> the way you put up your hands is like that elbow. <laughs> the elbow? Yeah. Okay, he goes and gets in. Did you get his stuff? He's gonna have a skeleton. Well, he has a merry procession of the undead. Yeah, uh, there's a procession of undead. All right, all right, it right. starts picking stuff up and loading it into the whale. Yeah, we'll give him all the time in the world, and we'll be like, whale, <coughs> just take him somewhere else when you're done. No, no, he'll probably mind control you. It's, it's fine. Just tell him where you want to go. It's a whale. They're smart. <laughs> I mean, I thought we were taking him to our boat, but okay. Wow, you guys were way more committed to being friends with this guy than I was. I just wanted to talk with him and ask him to leave. I just, I just rehomed him, guys. We displaced him. That's it. <laughs> ah. We're doing another epistle again. So does the whale go wherever he wants it to go? Mm, I mean, inevitably, yes. One way or the other, the answer is going to be yes. He's a lich. Probably right? he's... got back yeah. to the side. Succumbs to his dark magics. Right? Like, he's like, just, you know, just don't come back here, because she doesn't want it. Meanwhile, and... on peaceful, happy island where nothing ever <laughs> bad happens. <laughs> oh, look, look I see some budgers. <laughs> well, look, the Overlord has any general. <laughs> no, no. I don't, don't join the evil train at the bottom of the ocean. We kind, of, kind of have a tiff with him right now. He's like, ooh, there's a dragon alive, is there? Yeah, I don't get along with dragons. Oh man, this guy probably knows all the bunch of stuff about your people's heritage. You can ask him about. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait before you leave. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Fifty thousand years old. I wonder if he knows things. Here, yeah. have some coins. I, I didn't realize he was that old of a lich. I thought he was a more recent lich. He said fifty thousand years. I didn't know that. Did he? He did. He yeah, said yeah, it to he us. He and said also, he said the tree's been trying to kill him for fifty thousand years. And also, I don't know how old the world is. Okay, that could have exactly. been like nothing. It could have been. So, wait. Do you know about the dragon that's locked at the bottom of the ocean? And if so, do you want to help us tell him to fuck off? Or at least tell us information about him? Do I want to help you tell a dragon to fuck off? <laughs> I mean, there are not many people that have told dragons off. I mean, if it helps, the dragon's not that rough. We've stolen a bit of his power already. And I'll gesture at the whales. I am always interested in sticking it to a dragon. Yeah! Yeah! Architects of life, keepers of magic. I would see them all fall. But if all the dragons are gone, doesn't magic disappear? 
Oh, look at that nose. <laughs> Is that a lie? Is it a lie? Let's just say there are flavors of the natural air. I am loving this guy! <laughs> so, like... Is what you're trying to say is that like life magic is dragons and like death magic isn't? You catch on quick. Okay, because that's not great for me. So like I kind of want to ask his name in case it's cool, but I also want to just call him the Lich. Is that so ominous? Well, what what is your name? No, you, you, the Lich. You should know your name. You know. I am the Dread Sage Mulkazar, Lord of the Damned, Herald of Death, Acolyte of the Forbidden Way. Scourge of the living, shepherd of the dark flame, and apostate of all that is good. Apostate? You threw that in there? Oh, that's so good. Okay. You may call me Mook. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's up and down. It's great. So, in and to light... Know, the architects think we're conspiring with evil powers. <laughs> well, they should have. <laughs> now we are. They should have been in it with all the cool evil powers. So here's the thing, though. Look at this guy. If all the dragons are dead, I die. All my people die. A lot of different people die. I think all the elves die. And then lich magic brings you back. Oh um, yeah, I guess I could be undead. You could. <laughs> you could right now. <laughs> I mean, I think goblins can be undead. We don't have that same spark you all have. Oh, that's true. Well, I'm I mean, goblin-y, but I'm not. the meat can come back. I don't think you'd be like, vampire goblin. Vampire, vampire. <laughs> we don't have that we qualia were... that lets things come back when we die. That's what makes us so rad. We were sort of wondering if there was a way to keep it bound. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job of being able to escape from the, from the original prisons that surrounded it. Oh, I would rather it not be in jail, though, if we... And get rid of it. I have a solution actually, but we need to uh, we need to put that in the future. I think I have a solution to this dragon problem. A Maybe creature will up. always rattle its cage. The only way around that is to kill it, then raise it, and make it serve you. Mm, you probably don't want that, right? Undead dragons, that sounds blasphemous. Well I don't care yes, about I don't... doesn't it? No yeah. way, because then like you fight the undead dragon, you're like, oh, this was such a nightmare. And then the thing that made it so, like, that creature, that failure didn't stop you, but it was merely a project I worked on. And then you fight him when you're already weakened severely. Stop encouraging Mulk to be our new enemy. I'm just really into this whole list. Yeah, this would be awesome. Okay. So, in light of the fact that you also hate dragons, or whatever, do you want to go hang out on our boat <laughs> while we go talk to the library, and then after we're done talking to the library, we'll meet you back on the boat, and then we'll plan the future from there. Also, please don't, like, steal our boat. There's that lots sounds of amenable to me. I have a lot of chuckling to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to like kill 10,000 babies or something to become a lich? Oh, yeah, they're like evil as sin. I like, mean, you don't have to. <laughs> well, you might as well. <laughs> if you don't, what's the point? I'm just what like. You... Liches are evil as sin. Fact. I mean, maybe. It depends on the world, right? As sin. <laughs> Given the guy's name, Milk. Well, he's grandiose. So might as well kill all the younglings. <laughs> Have I told you the legend of Dark Plague? <laughs> so does he get the fuck off of our island? Yeah, he goes our to the boat. Island. Yes. We'll have the whales hang out by the boat. So who wants okay. to forge a bond with it? I kind of do. Yeah. Not uh, I don't know, man. I was super friendly to him. We're all f- like friendly-ish, but I'm also We're both like- creatures of chaos and disorder. Yeah, pretty much. A free spirit. Is that the bond? We're both free spirits? Is that a joke? Sure. <laughs> <sighs> the library's gonna love this. I'll give you his stats later. Yeah, I don't need it now. 
There's not going to be a fight unless I decide to kill that rude library that didn't feed me. Okay, okay, I guess we'll pause now that Peter's gone. Yeah. All right. So you guys head back to the tree. Yes. Uh, which opens again to welcome you. Um, and the lady is inside. And there is a table full of nuts and berries um, and warm tea. Huh. Well, not quite what I was hoping for, but I guess it does. I hope you're aware of what you've unleashed on the world. Well... In this coming day, <laughs> an empty silence. In this coming days, we'll need all the help we can muster. Yeah, I mean, the world might be getting torn apart soon by the dragon, so. You certainly will, Grand Architect. You will be schooled here. Well, thank you. So. You know why we're here, or should we explain our, our quest? You seem to know a lot. Yes, but I think it's better if you talk yourself through it. <laughs> okay. What do you want, Grand Architect? What is your goal? Well, I think our goal is to, <clears throat> in the end, save as much people as we can from this world. Nice and vague. Well, that's we our We do not mission. want the dragon to be free and doing whatever the hell he wants because he's bad. We suspect it will be bad for everyone. It's going to be bad. I had like a crazy prophecy about it. That's, I've never had one of those before. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why we're here. The dragon! Yeah, but my plan <coughs> is to stop him from taking over those builder spots and destroying his army and crushing the architect he's possessed. Then he has no power. But no. he'll just gain it back after we're all dead. That was his entire, he did his whole speech yeah. about this. Oh, yeah, 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 solution for that. It's hard to tell how much of what the dragon's saying is you know, complete and other bollocks. I mean, he's been alive this long, why wouldn't he live longer? Let's listen to the little one with the pointy teeth. What is your solution for that? Oh, yeah, uh, so those architect slots are seeped with magic, right? Yes. Yeah, so my solution was we just move goblins into all of them. Now it fest the area, soak up the magic, and uh, they'll just hang out on it and add as protectors. But the areas are magic because they're the conduits that keeps the world, the walls together. Yes, but we have the background like radiation of it. Then after we've kept all of the, the things safe by crushing the architect's army, my plan was we take a bunch of goblins, we go down to where the dragon's caged up, and we just set up camp on him. Like, we just build a goblin nest on the dragon and keep him company, and he won't be alone. The loneliness is probably driving him crazy. Also, my dream is what? Also what? No, no. <laughs> I think you're missing the real problem. Well, and you're lacking some key information. Dragons are magic, and magic is dragon. Yes. Yes. And the dragons died, and magic started to fade from the world, and the builders panicked, and they imprisoned one at the bottom of the sea to try and cling to what magic was left. But magic is like an ocean. It has tides. It ebbs and flows. It waxes and wanes. It comes and goes. The dragons existed before the builders, and they existed as part of a cycle. When the last dragon dies, magic is reborn into the world again. The builders panicked and interrupted the natural flow of magic. They built a dam around the last pool that they could, and they stopped the sea from refilling itself. And since then, magic has always existed at a low. Hmm. So if we kill the dragon, all my people won't die? If you kill the dragon, while it is suppressed by the builder's architecture, magic will be stuck at its lowest point and it will drain out of the world. What you need to do is kill the dragon when it's free. And to do that, Grand Architect, 
you need to take your rightful place. You've been fighting the wrong fight. You need to defeat Grand Architect Zane. You need to take your rightful place as head of the builders so that you might steer society once the dragon is free and stop a cataclysm. Hmm. That's interesting. So that to save everyone will have to kill the dragon, but... I'm not super hot on killing the dragon. Hmm? I'm not super hot on killing the dragon. But we got him? Well, it's list of grievances are valid. Yeah, but he also is going to wreck everything. And specifically... Has because he's gone crazy from being a prisoner. But that he won't become uncrazy the second we free him. Not the second, but... My idea was we rehabilitate him by having him be around people for a while. And I didn't want to say this out loud around you guys, because it sounded like I could easily discard you once this plan was in motion. But I would just have a nest of goblins live on him and slowly, carefully drink his blood, eat his scales, the other bits of him, not the inside bits, any bit of the inside bits, not enough to kill him. But they take on his properties, and goblins tend to blend in with things they live on. So goblins would start being magic. And then we'd live around the sites where the, the builder tech is and they'd start being magic, which would make my people where magic comes from. Which means after some time, we can let the dragon go. He'd go away. And everyone would fear goblins because they were magic comes from and exterminate my people. Uh, and the wall would stand. Yeah. I have no idea if that would work. I don't care if you have an idea if it would work. I'm running on my guts. I'm running on instinct. I have a hunch, and my hunch is the literal only thing I work on. It's so, irrelevant if you think it would work. So, but that doesn't help if the dragon is then freed and burns everything down. Uh, I mean, we're putting a pretty good crimp in his plans, and there's four of us, and we know the dragon's bad news. If he becomes king of everything and takes his place, everyone will know his bad news. Which means while we're rehabilitating him, we can spend all you can spend all that time setting your people up to be ready to be like dragon fuck off. And we still believe. But then the magic will still be stuck at the low point. Well, yeah, but eventually he'll die. Yes, but if then your people will be keeping the magic around, then it'll still be stuck, because then it'll take on the dragon properties, so we'll have to kill your people. If that's even possible, to restart the cycle. Yeah, well, you've gotten this long without a lot of magic, so you can go on the rest of eternity with this amount of magic. Your people are still alive and happy, everyone else is happy, and you don't murder a person that your people unjustly enslaved and put in prison because your people panicked and fucked up the world. Everyone gets what they want. Except for Malk. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't even, like, again, that fight on the boat is coming. <laughs> not today, not tomorrow, but it's coming. We, 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 we saved the date on that one. <sighs> Boo-hoo, magic doesn't come back. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the Builder's legacy of shame to keep their hubris in check. Hmm. It isn't ethically right to kill the dragon for your own gain to undo a mistake your people made. Okay, but suppose the dragon attacks us, would it be ethical for us to defend ourselves? Yeah, probably. We're going to keep him in prison for a few more hundred years or so, and goblins are going to keep him company. We're like the worst version of a kitten. People still like kittens. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure will tell you. That was my hunch. I was going to reveal it all, because then you just start talking about murdering the dragon way too soon. I'm like, oh, gotta pull the ripcord on this one. Well, Lord, in the end of the day, it's largely up to you. At least that's the way I'll pledge my people. On one hand, it's sorely tempting to remove the ancient trap dragon from the equation before it can wake as the... Uh, as the library is stated. On the other hand, that would completely displace my uh, uh, displace every single one of the people when it is released from the prison. Yeah, but this way you get the wall, and your people get a purpose. What wall? It what purpose? Be a wall. The wall! 
There won't be a wall. There will be a wall. We're not going to take the wall down. Are you crazy? Yo, oh, yes. I mean, yes. If we go by your plan, that will happen. But here's the thing. As he is saying, he is basing his opinion on instinct. I like tampering unduly with the natural forces is unwise. It was folly for the builders to trap magic. Every dam eventually bursts. I have seen forwards and I have seen backwards. You four represent the greatest chance to resume magic in the world and deal with the dragon. If you fail, it will come at a later time when the world is less prepared. Hmm. This gets you everything you want, Oops. and it's not a builder plan. We're putting magic back into the ecosystem naturally. But you're not. You're not. We're it's... natural. We're, we're the. We are the land. The natural thing is to let the magic holders die. Sure. The dragon is destined to fade from the world. And right. It was not always filled with rage. The idea of rehabilitating it is not a bad one, but I don't know if it can be done with toothy kittens. No, well, maybe you're saying his people spend all their time telling him it's sorry and rehabilitating it. I don't know. I'm two years old. I got a pretty good hunch that my people be part of the natural. The fact that I can do this. I'll put up my hand, and you'll see like a bunch of dolphins on the on the vast horizon where the water is, do a bunch of flips and stuff. That I. S- Stole from the dragon because he let himself get too close to me emotionally. These other people have a pretty good shot at it. It might just be the thing that makes my people stop being genocided. <laughs> hmm. Once again, rehabilitating the dragon is one thing. Having your people be the magic holders is something else altogether. Because your people never die. Someone has to take the place of the dragon when it eventually gets left free to go and live its natural life. It will die eventually, just, you know, without being put to the sword, uh... But literally no one has to take its place. When the dragon dies, magic will come back, so just let it happen. How long will that take for it to come back? How long can people live without it? How are you doing after an hour? How long does it take for the magic? The rejuvenation will be almost instant. Otherwise, every cycle would be a genocide. Yeah. I, I assumed that. I yes, assumed otherwise it would be a genocide. Now, to know that we'll <laughs> Pardon? Well, that's kind of an ethical question, because now it seems to be easy to kill the dragon. Well, no, now the answer is get him some therapy, and then let him go when everything's fine. Yeah, but. Then there's no reason not to kill goblins. This whole thing you're doing with him! Yeah! That seems a lot less permanent than my plan now. Also, there's no way people are going to stop killing goblins. This is uh, never going to happen. I'm pretty sure if it's like, if we do this, the wall will come down and the world will end. Yeah, but they know that they're never going to be able to genocide all the goblins, so they're not going to care. Well, they would try. Wall builders are like that. There's only one dragon left! Yeah, because dragons aren't goblins. Dragons aren't goblins. I mean, we probably try to corral them all into one place. But you can't. You literally get, like... That's the thing, they would try, but they literally can't. They've tried to genocide goblins throughout all of history, and it's never worked. I mean, I think your your people would become... power sources. They would be seen as even less than what they are now. They would be corralled and enslaved and used to fuel builder technology. If the builders continue on the course they're on now, Boy King here fixes his civilization up. You were just speaking of a solution that lacked permanence. So yes. you know how the builders are with a thousand years of history, and you think that this admittedly is going to change the entire nature, and it will never change back. It's two halves of it. Wall builders seem used to be awful. Also, here we could wall builders. Most people have heard of Wall builders seem used to be so awful. It's not in their nature. To be so shitty. So presumably a boy king can set the culture up to fix itself. And if goblins have an incentive not to be genocided or treated like cattle, do you have something? Hmm. But they, they are set up to be treated like cattle with their, with their magic batteries. Okay, what's a sacred animal wool builders don't hunt to extinction that they love because of their culture and stuff? 
Would you rather... I'm just I'm asking, I'm asking the boyfriends here. Because he can command more about their culture. <laughs> yeah, but like, would you rather be dead or would you rather be a slave? Goblins can't be slaves. But you can if they lock you in a, in a pen just big enough for you and use them as a battery. Which is I will then do. put my hand against, like, I don't know, like a little, like, banister and, like, meld through, like, a T-1000. Goblins are really hard to cage. They tend to adapt to their environment. Yeah, and they're also really hard to kill, so either argument is the same. Well, you know, you haven't had generations of builders trying to, you know, put their might into caging <laughs> goblins. We might not build cages out of, you know, stone. We might make them really have a little place for goblins and harvest them in the natural well, environment. Well, if you give them a nice little pen to live in, then they wouldn't want to leave. But also, like, that seems bad to me. I don't know what it would be like to goblins. All right. As I've stated before, I'm here not because I'm worried about them getting wiped out. I'm worried about them changing. Because the way culture is going with my people... They will change, and it'll get bad for <coughs> everyone else. We're on the precipice of that. I don't think I was here for that. Oh, yeah. If goblins keep getting treated the way they are, they'll change. And it'll get ugly, and it'll get bloody. My long-term solutions are setting up things so that goblins just stay how they are, and everyone's relaxed. I gotta throw as much as I can at the wall while I'm alive. Because if I go, the next big goblin king, he's not gonna be like me. He's gonna be different. I mean, there are other goblin kings out there right now, we, we kinda just have him, but the next big one. Hmm. Boy king has to be king. No one was arguing that. We can all agree. Well, let's focus on that now, and focus on the question of the dragon later. So, we need to take out Zane. Do you have any advice for us with that? Why don't you command more about how builder government works, and how you dethrone the Grand Architect? I was hinting at, hey, what's his weakness? I could use that against him. I mean, the, the he's being power. mind controlled. Oh, yeah. His weakness is that fucking talisman. <laughs> no, that's not his overload weakness. But I'm saying, like, if he's not being mind controlled anymore, then he's not a bad guy. If you can just, if you're if you, the freaking. You spoke of rehabilitation. And you say the dragon is mind controlling the architect. Yes. Directly. So we should capture him to rehabilitate the dragon through Zane. No. Mind control is. interesting. It's. A dangerous art. There's a reason the dragons didn't just mind control everyone to be in their slaves back when they were alive. Mind control acts a bit like a two-way street, and the more direct control you assume over someone, the more that person imprints on you. That's why it's done so rarely, and when it is, it's more used with trinkets to suggest things to people. That makes a lot of sense. We've seen that already. Yes. I'll just show up to the ocean. Yes, so he does have a trinket on him. What about the trinket, the two-way street thing? That too. He's exposed. Yeah, I actually had just assumed that was because you're a goblin. Yeah. So does that mean we could conceivably... It just means I'm more impressionable. It's insane. It would help to convince the dragon. Potentially. We could lay the foundations of arguing that the dragon needs to be freed. At the same time, attacking the... Attacking the... Uh, his control over the, uh, over the architects themselves. So what you're saying is... You go on the debate against Zane, and you say... Yeah, there's a dragon trapped under there, and we shouldn't have imprisoned him, and we should let him go. But also, let's not kill the wall, because that's stupid? Is that, is that what you're saying? It I'm looking at you, be, Hoover. It seems to be, uh, it seems to be a, a possibility. Hmm. 
Wait, if the dragon's not under the water, then there's no purpose to have the wall, right? Like, the he's wall? under the water, and the that's wall why it's- monsters out. That's what Poover says. And I think it looks nice. I mean, it ties the whole place together. <laughs> <laughs> there may be uh, my people for years have, have uh, philosophers and uh, engineers and a few, even a few mystics we do have a few have debated over the necessity of the wall not just to keep them out but uh, potential metaphysics that wasn't an answer <laughs> it really are isn't. you just saying that you don't know the answer I'm saying that the wall may have uh that not everything that has been passed on to the builders is perfectly passed on. The well, arts of binding a dragon are a little beyond, uh, well, beyond them at the moment. From what we understand, the wall keeps the magic in. There's only so little magic in the world to go around. So if we, if the wall goes down, the magic probably will fly out and dilute everywhere well, else. Well, yeah, but see, it's like it's like there's like five or seven or whatever chakra points on the wall. And also, there's like a secret one that no one knew about that is the dragon. So, if you get the secret one that's the dragon not to be in the special spot, the rest of them are fucking useless because they're not being powered by the dragon. Probably. Right? Library? Um, that's I not quite accurate. In true, if the dragon were to be free, the suppression towers would have no purpose. So the wall's just a wall if he's not in it. Yes. Okay, that, that's what I was saying. The wall's just a wall, and maybe there's monsters outside of the wall, but that's... So if he's not in it, then, will that mean that magic is also outside of the wall? Yes, right? Or... Magic will go with the dragon. Oh, no, so that's bad. Be, it still I has mean, to be... Uh, if we don't have to suppress the dragon, then there's a lot more ingenuity we can... Was keep used to keep the magic in, so the dragon will be free to roam around within the walls. Well, but that's the world. thing, though. As soon as he leaves the walls, like we were like less than an hour, or so, we were like an hour outside of the wall, and I was gonna die if I stayed there. Yes. If the dragon leaves, then so we'd have to convince the dragon to stay within the walls, but still. Will no, the dragon we made a slightly bigger cage for you. Yes. Unless there was a magic source within the walls. He'd be magic in here or the dragon flies off to live off its life away from all the people that caged him. Oh, look how the turntables! Alternatively, we just take all the architects and move them away from the dragon so it will be able to live away from its captors while still remaining here. I mean, the dysphoria of your people would be uh, awfully poetic, but you should stay within the walls because the outside of the walls look pretty habitable to goblins. And his people. Like, basically everyone but my people and elves. No, 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 the dwarf said he wants to stay in the wall. He wants to stay in the wall. Well, everyone wants to stay. I'm just saying, like, you everyone can live outside of the wall if they want. They can, but they shouldn't. <laughs> we should let them know there's monsters outside the wall. They should never leave. There's more monsters inside the wall. I mean, yeah, that's where all the builders were. Uh, Again, poetic, oh, are we? Just... I do have an extensive collection. <laughs> I'm just gritting my teeth, my little stabbing knife teeth. But I think we've all decided that someone must embrace their destiny. So <laughs> perhaps you can debate the ethics of the situation on the way to the capital. Ooh, get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs> you should also detour to your people if you're saying, right? Uh, check up on them? Yeah, it'd be nice to know that they're not all dead or mind controlled. Hey, let's, let's detour that way. Um, and how do you dethrone the Grand Yeah, how are we going to do it? Is it, is, it a, is it a rap, is it a political rap battle? I mean, it's probably upstating him in, you know, being a builder. So, make something grander. So that's... What, you, you've got like a, maybe potentially this is something that you could take a few days to, yeah, the, to right? iron out some You could be like, uh, let, let me think, let me go through the cultural archives and see what I can pull out like of The Great writers. Builder Olympics! Like that episode. This reminds me of that plotline in Star Trek The Next Generation where Picard and Worf have to work together to talk about the succession of a new Chancellor after the Chancellor is poisoned by the Duras uh, house leader. So, uh, 
there anything else that we Dark should know? Like, I, I want all the information. Let's see. Come on. We've gone over your destiny, history of the dragons, mind control. I think that about covers it. I suppose. Any suggestions for dealing with the the uh, any suggestions for dealing with the magical amulet that makes uh, makes Zane a he possessed he possessed and also has the side effect of making him completely vulnerable. Oh, I don't actually know if that's the amulet or if it's him. He might just be magic. I don't know. In days ancient. A dragon tried to enslave the elves who live on the island of Ishantar. They came up with artifacts of power to dispel the mind control and prevent it from affecting their people. I obviously haven't been to the island myself, but it's entirely possible that those relics still exist. Well, I guess we'll have to pay them a visit on the way there. I think that's about it. Okay. By the way, do you control these girls in the mist? Or they still something valuable of me and like to have it back before I come back to the capital? <laughs> There's some way for me to get that back. What was that? Um, my symbol of my heritage. Specter floats in through the door with your royal symbol. Oh, can oh, I wow. have it back? No, I brought it here to taunt you. This library's gym. I mean, you know, I had to ask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> you know, not to be disrespectful, you know. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that she could control the ghosts. I think okay. the ghosts are hers. I know that. These are defense systems. Like, I, I thought that it was just elves that had boat crashed, and now they're haunting the place because they didn't like the fact that they were boat crashed. Shipwreck, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> and I'm keeping your books. Suddenly. Okay, I think that's pretty much a wrap. Oh, yep. wait, uh... Uh, the lich said that you hate him because he got your books wet? Yes. He's a real dick. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to make sure that was a real story. That was a fantastic answer, by the way. <laughs> All right. Even the young ones. <laughs> uh, oh! You know, it occurs to me, uh, Hormie here's been watching us the whole time, and, uh, he's a spy. Hello, Zane. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're probably gonna wanna... Speed that, uh, that whole the throne thing up. <sighs> well, you, I mean, you know about these things. They have to report back. Oh. There's no instantaneous communication. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you? Oh, cool. Well, as long as you keep on that leash. You guys it's not a have... leash, it's a tether. If I get lost, he'll be able to find me. You guys have fellowship with a giant. Oh, cool. Ooh, nice. Oh, man, we got three picks. All right, well, do we want to call it here then? All right. Yeah, alright. Yeah, because next thing you guys yep. will be sailing off and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, I was Tyler. Peter. Mark. Devin. And Nicole. And this is Sponsored by Nobody. Signing off.